Hello reception. Are you ready to learn a new digraph today? I wonder if you can guess which digraph we are learning. It's got an N and a G and together the N and the G make a brand new sound. Have you seen this before? That's right, it's mmm. Watch my mouth when I say this sound. It's open, my tongue is down, and it's quite a nasally sound. My turn, mmm. Your turn. Well done. Remember to keep your mouth open. My turn, mmm. Your turn. So this is mmm thing on a string and we hold something on a string we pretend to hold something on a string you can dangle it like this or you can swing it to and fro it's up to you so this is mm, thing on a string here is one of our yellow words can you spot where the digraph is is it at the beginning in the middle or at the end of the word Good spotting. You probably spotted at home with your grown up that this digraph is at the end of my yellow word. I wonder if you can blend this word at home with your grown up. Have a go. Push the sound buttons. Did you get it? S o mm. Song. This is the word song. So our PowerPoint today is all about our digraph. Mm. I'm going to share my screen with you now. Good job. So here it is, our digraph. Mm. So you've probably heard me say before that sounds made up of two letters that join together to make one sound is called a digraph. And this is our digraph, mm, thing on a string. There he is, our thing on a string. Little picture to help you. So I have some pictures and the words for mm here. So these words end with the ng mm digraph. Can you see? We've got a k, i, ng, mm king. We've got a w, i, ng, mm wing. And we have a r, i, ng, mm ring. Where can you spot the ng mm digraph? in all of those words. Tell your grown up at home. That's right. This digraph likes to go at the end of words. It's mostly found there at the end of a word. So if you hear an ng mm sound and it's at the end of the word, you'll need to write an N and a G. I'll blend one of these words now. See if you can guess which one it is. Are you ready? R, I, N. Well done. Ring. How about this one? K, I, N. Fantastic. Good job. So now you can practice using your robot arms to help you segmenting these words with ng. Mm. We have three words for you to segment. We've got the word hang, fang, and sing. I'll show you. S, I, ng, mm, sing. You have a turn. Fantastic. How about hang? 
Did you get it? A ng hang. Try the last one. Thang. A ng thang. Good job. Maybe you can challenge yourself, robot, and write the words. Here, we practice drawing the sound buttons. Can you spot that mm digraph again? That's right, it's at the end of each word. Don't forget, digraphs need stretchy sound buttons. Single letter sounds need a dot. So if you were drawing the sound buttons for the word thing, you'd have two stretchy sound buttons because it starts with a th, then you have an i and mm. So it will be a stretchy sound button, a dot, and another stretchy sound button. Good luck with these. And our final activity today is an activity that helps you to blend words with the ng digraph. In your resource pack, you will find our roll and read ng game. You've played games like this before, where you need to get your dice and your counters. If you're playing with your grown up at home, maybe you can have yellow counters, your grown up can have a different counter and see who wins. Roll the dice. If you roll a one, for example, you go to the first word in that one line, blend it, s, i, n, sing, and cover it with your coloured counter. Then your partner has a turn. The one with the most coloured counters will win. This game's really, really good because it's got the digraphs are indicated in a different colour, so it really helps you to spot where they are in the word. I hope you enjoy this game. This has been all about mm today. Mm, thing on a string. Thanks for watching, reception. Happy learning. Bye.